Alrighty, everyone. So here's the Home Life Super XL Auto that we've been uh, porting. Uh, so this is basically me testing and tuning the saw right now. Now, as we go here, you're probably going to notice the low-speed circuit is having issues getting tuned correctly. Uh, that's actually because of the reeds. They are... They're not sealing up correctly. And a saw like this, a small issue in the reeds will create issues in the tuning. Uh, so little issues become big issues, if you know what I mean. But we'll take care of that in the future. Now, one of the things I want to point out here is the wood that I chose to use is big. Um, I've had it bucked down for firewood length for probably two years now, so it is... It's like trying to cut through a rock right now. So it, these cuts are going to be slower than what you might be used to seeing. You know, green wood wood. Green wood will cut faster, if you know what I mean. Now, another thing I want to point out here is this saw. I boosted basically the torque of the saw. I didn't add a whole lot in the RPM. So right now we are focusing more towards the torque. Uh, we may look at doing some changes there in the future, but for now, this is where we have it. Uh, we might change that later down the road, try to get some more RPM out of it, but uh, pay attention here because at, towards the end of the video, I'm going to start pushing the RPMs up, and we'll get to see it. Alrighty, so right now what you're seeing is I'm just trying to get an idea of the four-stroke point. I've started off rich. You're going to start here, here, and the saw cut in and out of four stroking. Uh, another thing to notice here is this chain is brand new, but the rakers are too low. I ended up finding a brand new chain with the rakers that were set too low. Go figure. But um, I make a cut or two, and then I end up just swapping chains and uh, to, to solve that problem. Uh, this, this chain you're seeing here, too, is also a semi chisel. And Whenever I make the change, I get a full chisel. But you're, you're hearing it cut in and out of four stroking. And I'm gonna start working and leaning it out a little bit to get rid of that. So just kind of pay attention here because you're gonna notice these the saws RPMs are not that high right now. And they're just gonna keep going up as I go. Uh, you'll notice it more towards the end of the video. Kind of watch what I'm doing here because you're going to see me continuously lean it out just a little bit more as we go. All right. So here I, uh, this is whenever I ended up swapping out chains. I went to a full chisel chain this time and decided to give that a try. It ends up cutting a lot smoother now, but I kind of need to start over on some of my tuning because of it. But uh, just pay attention here and uh, you're going to see some of the process I do. Right now I'm in big wood, so I'm kind of tuning it for big wood. Uh, and eventually here I'm going to go smaller wood and that's when you're going to see the RPM start coming up. Watch my hand on the handlebar. I'm going to test it and see how easily it goes into four stroke. One thing I want to point out here is I'm sinking this. Uh, Super XL with a 20 inch bar and throughout the entire cut we're not seeing the RPMs drop. So I've definitely increased torque of this saw without a doubt. A normal Super XL Auto would definitely lose RPM in this kind of a cut 
and this one is managing to maintain it, maintain the RPMs throughout the, the length of the cut. So we definitely got our, uh, our torque boosted, just like I was hoping. Did you hear how the idle kind of jumped up there? Classic sign of it being a little lean. All right, we're gonna go into some smaller wood. And smaller wood means less resistance, so it'll four stroke easier. Now this is the point when you're gonna start seeing the RPMs come up a bit. Alrighty, I'm just gonna keep tuning a little leaner to get rid of that force charging on this wood. So you're gonna notice the chain's starting to get kind of loose. Um, it's brand new, so it's stretching out, you know. It's, it's part of the what comes with the territory, I guess you would say. But I was kind of in a hurry. I was just there for a little firewood, but I wanted to test this real quick. So we're just gonna have to deal with a loose chain. Did you notice the RPMs go up on that cut? Uh, it's for, still four stroking a little bit, so we're gonna go a little leaner. So that's just a touch leaner than I prefer. Uh, it didn't go into four stroking at all whenever I kind of released a little bit of pressure, but uh, I'm gonna continue with this and kind of see how it is. But that is just a touch lean or just a touch too lean. Uh, okay. So we'll see how it does in this big one. Being a little lean can cause you to lose some torque, so I'm testing it on this big wood. Uh, I'm gonna see how much torque I'll lose during the cut on this wood. And you'll notice this one's actually bigger. It'll actually consume the entire bar. Tell me what you think. kind of funny how much more difficult it is to cut you know old dry wood uh, the chips come out you know kind of small because it's so dry and so it takes longer to make your cuts uh, greenwood this thing would be melting through that so fast it ain't even funny but uh, this is all I got is this old dry stuff laying here for now to test it with
So I shut it off like that to uh, do a spark plug test and it did end up showing just a slight lean. For some reason, my camera didn't record that moment. So this is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.